Hello everyone, this is Joey. Uh, gonna play a single player map here called, called uh, World 5 right here, but it's called The Castle. It's by forum user, Mac Minecraft forum user Crude, C-R-E-W-D. It's just a little puzzle map. I'm not sure why it's doing all this stuff, but um, yeah, so I guess it's got to convert for some reason. Uh, maybe it was made in an old version of Minecraft. Anyway, uh, the purpose of this is to uh, not die. There's two rules. You can't die, and you can't place any blocks unless specifically instructed to, and I can tell you right now there's only one block that you can uh, place in this map. So, uh, I have played through this uh, just so that uh, I know where everything's at and it doesn't take forever. It took me forever to find the last one. I actually had to cheat a little bit to find the last uh, diamond. Uh, and actually, it was pretty much the easiest diamond to find. So, here, here's, here we go. Here's what you do. Fill in the missing block, which is right there and hunt for nine diamonds to make the block so like I said you can't die, you can't place any blocks uh, I'm gonna go for the first diamond over here and it's right down here so kind of obvious but kinda not obvious at the same time diamond number one the hard part is getting back out of here <laughs> Um, this might be quite a struggle to get out of here. They've, there's some kind of little platform or something here that prevents me from uh, going up. Okay, getting getting better now almost to the top so that was easier than last time good deal this is the big secret I think this one was the hardest one to figure out um, uh, it's a tree spider uh, you start the game with a gold sword and butter armor a butter sword and butter armor And let's go down here. See what's in there. A cooked pork chop and some arrows. Don't really need the arrows or the uh, sword too much. This is just a little maze right here. It's a little maze of doors. Uh, come on. Now. And you got a flip these two switches here to open up some doors and once you do uh, you should be good to go uh, here we go second diamond very cool go back outside it's getting to be night time and one of the problems with this map is at night, uh, creepers will destroy parts of the map that are vital. <laughs> uh, because a lot of the uh, hard, the hard part of this, or how these traps work, or these puzzles work, is, see, creepers, is... How, how these puzzles work is through redstone and, and creepers just destroy redstone so easily. Alright, there we go. Creepers destroyed. So let's go in here. And here is a scary, scary room. Hope I don't die. Um... Kind of the key to this room right here is these ladders. 
walking across the top of the ladders. That's what you want to do. You don't want to... Um, there is a door right there. If it was daytime, you'd be able to see that door a little bit better. Good grief. Forgot about this room. This is where you gotta open a bajillion doors. Uh, go ahead and flip all these switches. That just makes things easier. Uh, flipping them doesn't close any doors. It just um, it just opens doors. So, and I can't remember if there's anything in these chests either. Ah, ah, some armor. So that's good news. And go out this door. There's a chest over here with a golden apple. And I'm going to go ahead and swap out swords. Put the golden apple in my inventory. Over here is a diamond sword. So let's go back and kind of... A lot of backtracking in this um, map. And these puzzles are... Which I guess is to be expected from Minecraft. Uh, just the way Minecraft works. Uh, if you don't have teleporting ability, then you're going to have to backtrack some. So not a big deal. So going back up, up, up. And these are one, one, two of the doors you activated earlier. Uh, I guess there were fences here, and they got burned away. So that was that's kind of funny. Uh, nothing up here. Is there anything above me? I don't think there's anything. I'm, I'm lost. Don't think there's anything above me. So head down, down some more. Nothing good in there. Some armor in there. A secret chest over here with some arrows in it. It's very good. And here is a diamond right here. So I'm up to three diamonds. Head back down, backtrack again. Once again, backtracking. Avoiding this lava. Although they conveniently put some water here, and I thought this had to be some kind of secret, but there is nothing down. It's there's nothing down here, so uh don't even don't even bother with that. I think that's just if you uh for if you get trapped by the lava and get caught on fire. So there's that, and you can quickly head down this way. Um, let me go back through here. Chop down. And drop down again. There we go. And that's the first the first floor. So we head up here, the second floor. Some nice lovely paintings here. And I totally missed this the first time I played it, but there's there's a room right here. <laughs> and you can go over here and uh later on this door right here will be open, I think. But uh Right now, this room is kind of on hold. Uh, oh. Whoa, what happened? Oh. 
He must have fell on my head. Wow. There's nothing over here, by the way. Go in here. Another door maze. More armor. More arrows. More pork chops. I haven't used any of my pork chops yet. But I'm sure it's just a matter of time. And if you look through here, you will come across another diamond. Diamond number four. And there's actually a chest over there. It's got some bread in it. So that's sort of cool, but not really when you got all these pork chops. So negotiate your way back through this maze. Yeah, I think I'm going the right way. Then you want to head up to this floor. And earlier, you opened these doors up here earlier. Ow. Take that. Ooh, accidentally knocked a picture off the wall. So right here is a lever. Behind this door, hard to reach, kinda. There we go. Got it. So, I can't remember which door to go through first, so I'll just pick one of them. I don't think it really matters. Uh, let's see. I'll say that and then, you know, spend ten minutes backtracking later. Whoops. Nothing good in there. So over here is a little hole in the ground. You go down the hole. In there. Around here. Oh no! There we go. Wow. Big sigh of relief. Reef. So, yeah, you see that Creeper could easily have destroyed that right there. So, that opens a door somewhere else. I'll show you that in a minute. But, um, let me go over here. And it's getting to be daytime. So, good news. There's another lever. A lot of the levers, opening doors with levers. So. This is mainly just going to be a walkthrough. Um, I originally was going to try to do this blind. I just uh, kind of failed at it miserably. So uh, this is going to be a walkthrough for anybody who uh, wants to uh, do this particular map. And is having trouble with it. So, there's another diamond. Diamond number five. Nothing over there that I need. Lots of lovely paintings to look at. More paintings. So, we open this door over here. And I'm going to very cautiously go around this lava. I'm not going to attempt to jump it, although I probably could, like just like that right there. But I'm kind of a chicken, so this is my favorite room. <laughs> uh, because you have to look through every chest to find the one. There it is, right there. So, I can assure you I've looked through every one of these chests that are capable of being looked through. And that is the only diamond in this room. And is the only thing in any of the chests in that room. So, uh, have fun with that. If you want to uh, test that out, test my honesty on that. See if I'm telling the truth. That is, uh, as far as I know, the only diamond. So, 
Hello, Mr. Spider. So we're going to backtrack yet again. Backtracking. And I hope I didn't miss anything on that. Go back around here. And then go out here. How many diamonds do I have? Six diamonds, three more to go. I'm trying to think if I remember where all these diamonds are at. Um, this one right here and a diamond helmet. So now I have all uh, diamond armor. So that's cool. And get rid of the stuff that I don't need. So, I'm at seven diamonds. I need two more diamonds. And I think I know where they both are at. Lucky me. Go back down here. Now, I'm hoping that, yes, this door is now open. I opened it earlier. And you jump in here. And you float down to here. There's nothing over there. Don't even try to go over there. Nothing to be had over there. Go out here. Hopefully there's no creepers waiting on me. Then you go down in this cave. And it's incredibly dark. You can't see anything. But there is a chest down here at the very bottom. With diamond number eight. Or one of eight diamonds that I've found so far. Not necessarily number eight. You can do these in pretty much any order. But, uh... And there might be a little bit easier, faster way to do this. But you can't go back up... Well, you could go back up that water, I guess. But the easy way is to go up these ladders. So... And then... Back out through here. Ouch. And then... Kill that spider. And the last diamond is... Back outside. I think. It has something to do with this over here. It's going to be interesting. I've never attempted this during the day. This portion of the map anyway. It's always been the first or second diamond that I went for. And it's always been extremely dark in this room. And it's still extremely dark and I can't see anything. Uh, but there's some water here. And some sand. And if you play around enough, you'll find a little path. And... Uh, and then there's a little staircase and you move along this path here and there you go I turned on something I'm not sure what but I know that it leads to a diamond so and it will be the last diamond if I can get to it how do I get out of here over here all right back down and back up and you can go up but there's nothing there as far as I know go this door whoa open that door in here and you got to go into the nether Building terrain. There we go. These blocks were created for some reason. I don't know why. How those got broken. But that, that's that's it. That's the only nether you'll be through in this whole map. And it puts you out in this brick hut. And you get diamond number nine. So now you can make a block. And somewhere is the castle... I know you can see this thing from the castle, so I don't know why you wouldn't be able to see the castle from this thing, but maybe the world is not 
loaded enough. I'm not going to take the time to have it load. Uh, there we go. So back through the nether. Then I'll head back outside and over here to our starting point where there's a couple of crafting benches built into this tree. Now make a block of diamond. Go over here, put the block in, and here we go. Hmm. I haven't really played around with this much. The ending part. I don't know what the ending of this is really like, so let's see. Push cart and wait for the boon. What is. Push what cart? Is it talking about the. Oh no! Oh, good thing I have my diamond armor on. So let's jump in the boat, see what's going to happen. If we go down through here. Okay. Um, nothing. <laughs> There's something down here. Possibly. Oh, swimming cows. Well, I can climb back up this ladder. But, hmm. I guess that's pretty much it. I mean,. I did get out of the castle, so that's good. But I didn't get to hear the boom. Uh, so I'm not sure what that was about. Maybe this map got broke because of an update. I don't know. But anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Hope it helped if you were having trouble with this map. And I'll see you later. Peace out. Bye-bye.